Hello everybody, welcome to Studio 2 Magic. I have an editing trick that I need to do on a clip here and I thought I would just go ahead and film what I'm doing and show you how I do it. It's a kind of a valuable and powerful trick. So here's what's going on. I have a clip here where a girl walks in the room and this guy looks up at her, but I don't want him to look up in the wide angle. I want it to cut to the, the close-up angle where he looks up at her. We're kind of doing this almost like a live video because I'm going to do this just in real time and show you what I'm doing. So as it plays right now, he looks up and then he looks up again. This shot is on a tripod. So I'm going to do a split screen and alter the time so that he looks up later. I could even do another split screen if I wanted and have her walk in at a different time, but I'm happy with when she's walking in. So I'm going to open this clip where he looks up in After Effects. I am zoomed in slightly, but I have black bars in here. I have black bars on it just to give it more, a little bit more of that cinematic look. So I don't mind that there's a black spot at the top. That's gonna get covered with that black bar. So I take this clip, we we'll go ahead and duplicate it. I'm just gonna call that one left side and this one right side. So all I really need to do, <laughs> I didn't spell that right, but that's okay, is to, to mask this off. I need to build a uh, split screen. Since I'm not going perfectly straight, I'm gonna kinda go right through here and we'll just get a full mask. And now if I were to solo this layer, you can see that it's just that bit. Um, and at the end of the clip, he looks up, but I don't want him to have looked up. So all I really need to do is find the spot before he looks up, like here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the end of this clip to here. Then I'll slide the whole clip over to where it ends in the right spot. And then I'll just go ahead and slide the starting point of this clip back to the beginning because this was a long enough take that I do have video there. And this scene should already be working. And see now he never looks up at her. Another good thing to do is I'm gonna go ahead and feather this slightly. Um, so I'm just gonna hit F and open up the mask feather I'm not going to go very much. Uh, if I solo this screen, you can see what the feather's doing. Or if I go quite a bit, it just sort of blends these two uh, sides together, especially if you have shadows moving around or something like that. Um, we'll go with about, at this resolution, I think about 53 will be plenty. I don't even think I needed it, but just to play it safe, that should keep that line invisible. Um, so now if I go back to this clip, I'm going to select the clip, click sequence and hit render selection. Let that run through. And that way I can watch it in real time. And now if I watch this little clip, I'll even make it full screen. She walks in, he doesn't look up until there. Sometimes when you want to alter the performance of one actor, this split screen edit is a good trick to do. I've even done it before with multiple takes. Let's say I have this angle and I like what he did in take one, but I like what they did in take two. I can split the screen and still combine those two performances. Hey, I hope that tip was something helpful and something you can use. So, um, you know, please subscribe and smash up the like and uh, we'll see you next time. My train's here. I gotta go, my train's here.